Squad! Was that good? Yeah, it was great. What's up, app fans? We're back at it again. Hopefully before the ban list. It might drop any day. Like it drops like time. tomorrow. The 10 most impactful cards in this format. But before we start, let's give a quick shout out to Monster. They sent us their uh, Mega, Mega Monster. Monster Binder. That's right. It holds how many? 720 cards. You see that, people? A lot of cards. It's got... We haven't even really... We started filling it up. We have like one page. <laughs> we like have... Half a page have, of like, like common. Half a but... page of... Shout out to Monster for sending that to us. That Yo, we do appreciate this it. This thing is thick. Also, they didn't even ask for like a... Um, yeah, like they did, we just thought they just They didn't it. want this. We're giving it to them anyway. That's the kind of guys we are. Even when you say no, we still say yes. So, <laughs> card 10, Supreme King Dragon, Starving Venom. Yes, the fusion guy. Can we talk about the fact that this thing got printed as like a rare? Yeah. Yet it's really strong. Well, honestly, that's how it is for a lot of those Supreme King cards. Because even Dark Worms are common. Yeah, no one thought that any of that stuff would be good. But Starving Venom is, for those who don't know, the kind of highlight fusion monster right now. Now, the cool thing is that it can steal effects. And normally this and is- any monster. Yeah, any monster that's on the field or either player's grave, which is nuts, it's good for two reasons. One, you can copy Electromite. I use it like that in my pals. Check out the deck profile, go back. But also, uh, it enables an FTK, a really powerful one with Nightingale. Yeah, and she got a uh, Neptune band, right? Yeah, she got Neptune band. I kind of hope she doesn't get she this She is bad band. news, y'all. Stay away from that girl. This card doesn't deserve to be banned or anything, but it's really strong. And it it's is. used in a lot of decks. Even non, like, Pendulum Magician decks can use it. Yeah. But that's where it's seen That's most. just how those Supreme King cards are. All things came out under the radar. Remember, Supreme King Clearwing, Supreme King Venom. Number Ooh. nine, evenly matched. It's only low on the list because right now it is not it's, actually played much. It's yeah, sort it's of. relegated to the side for the most part. It isn't hasn't been blowing out too many games. Like people definitely still have their qualms with it. Uh, people think it's broken and, and it might just be. It kind of is, is a, sometimes. It is a trap you can activate in your hand. I find it to be like sort of balanced in some cases, but still sort of broken in others. It can hurt. Um, but yeah, like he said, it's kind of been relegated to the side deck. Though, it's still impactful because it's still a card that you see people having to dedicate answers to. I don't think Konami's gonna do anything to this card yet. I agree. But, I think it's one of those cards that will have something done to them eventually. And that's why you still see decks having to make Norito or Vortex or Tekken, Solemn, Judgment, something it's, to answer this. Yeah, it's entirely possible Judgment came back because of Evenly Matched. Number eight is Scapegoat. Ah, the goats of Scape. Who would have thought in 2018 we'd be talking about Scapegoat? I know. And the thing with Scapegoat is, I personally don't have qualms with this card. I really don't think it's all that crazy, but Nuts. unfortunately, Insane. it's it's free link monsters. Yeah, and you can make some pretty big and decent ones. Yeah, you get Firewall Dragon. You can get Borlo. And of course, Skull Dread. Sorry. And it's generic. It doesn't limit what it can be played in. I mean, I feel like the card has some balances. Like, you know, you usually have to use it in the end phase of your opponent's turn. So it's not going to let you, like, explode yeah. on your first turn with it. But I see why some people do have some problems with, like, a one-card boss monster kind of thing. Though, kind of how it reads. let's not forget, Zoo did happen. Yeah, that, that's true. What's want to talk about some one card boss monsters? And we did name our number seven card already. It is Skull Dread. Sorry, Yuya. Leave in the comments. Is it Sorry, Yuya? Is it Sorry, Yuja? Or is it Skull Death? Or is it. Yeah. Um, the newest Link 4 on the block. And some would say the best. But, I mean, it does the most proactive things. Yeah, lots of effects. Can extend combos. Beefs up your monsters. It can unbreak a hand. Yeah, and that's kind of the big thing. I mean, draw four and then send back three. Yeah, you still get that one. That's... You were deep digging into your deck to like get just exactly what you need. How come they print Sorry You? I think in the same set they also, or is it set, set after, is what they printed uh, Vendred uh, Strix, the one that draws one and shuffles one back. Yeah, it's such a tame effect. Hey, Konami, I'm looking at you. Stop that. You know, usually you have to commit some resources to it, so I, don't, I wouldn't call it busted. Though there are some cases where 
you can make it for kind of. We're basically free. free. I feel like the, 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 six, the 60 card decks come to mind the most for me. Like, they can True. usually make this really And Scapegoat easy. comes to mind for me. Number six is Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. Hey. Yeah, he knows he uses it. I I can't lie, I use it in like two different decks I'm running. Make Foolish Great Again card. Yeah, this card is I think one of the most unassuming of the It was a common it was such an unassuming card, I think we gave away like thirty copies of it. It came out before Electro was announced. Yep. So no well one really knew before. that this would be like all that busted. But this card's really strong. It means that with Foolish Burial or Dragon Ravine or, or Dragon Shrine. Shrine, you mean you basically get a Free summon, special summon, that also searches you a scale, Ooh. and an arguably one of the best possible scales is zero. Yeah, it's very, it's versatile, and if nothing else, the discard costs or something you need to pop, it's... Yeah, it's a lot of things. Solid. And what's cool is Pendulum Editions use it, but everything else is using it now. I use it in rockets for various things. Because, you know, a lot of decks just need that one free special summon so they can go into their link monster. Kind of worry about it because in the OCG it did get hit. Look, Konami's going to go through me, all right? He's kind of a big guy. Like, right? yeah. number five is the Strudo. The Lost Dragon's Free Song. I don't... Did I say that right? I don't know. It's the Strudo, all right? You know, for the longest time I didn't actually get the hype behind this. And then I realized like Meteor Burst and Gate Zero and other little ancient fairy combos, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. It's nuts. The Strudo and Spirals, remember that? It's an interesting card because it kind of reminds me of You just said remember that talking about Spirals. That is weird. Time moves so fast in Yu-Gi-Oh. See, this card reminds me of like old time cards that just could like summon themselves in the grave like Plague Spreader or Glow Up Bulb. Except he's a tuner that specifically will be making level 7s. And... As it happens, there are like two really good level sevens right now. Meteor Burst works. Stop that. Stop with... that right now. No one ever said Meteor Burst was a good level seven before until now. Fair. And Ancient Fairy, which got banned in the OCG, but I don't think that should happen here. I mean, we have triple terraforming. I mean, maybe you should give it to them. Maybe you should. Maybe terraforming should get banned. Bring back maybe chicken. that should have been on the Bring list. Bring back Chicken Game, and then we can ban all of this. Number four, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Come on. You knew a hand trap was going to make it. Yeah, and of course it is the head hand trap of all the hand traps. Yeah, the forehead. Yeah, <laughs> she... Fuck this card, to be honest. I love Ash Blossom. I use her. When I play in regionals, I use Ash Blossom. I will Ash your anything you do, and I will have zero sympathy. But then the rational part of me remembers, this really ruins a lot of fun in this game sometimes. Yeah, you know, a single Ash Blossom can really mean everything. Somebody used like one for one, discarded something, and I just ash blossomed it, and like that was they, and they scoop. Well, like, they 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 lost they two lose cards. Everything. They lost two cards on their first turn, Paul. What what do you think is gonna happen? I don't think at this point that the card will get banned or limited or anything. It feels like it's kind of past the time for that. I, I think we're just stuck with her. I don't think so. I think she's gone. All I ask is that she be cheaper, because Legendary Collection Kaiba did not do anything to prove oh, I don't care. This. I've already lost my money on it. I spent $70 on that thing. It's only worth like $60 now. I'm on 10 bucks, bro. Number three is... I think at this point we can probably start guessing them, honestly. <laughs> is two-piece. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Yeah, so what's there to say about him other than... Ma I am sick of seeing this card. He's lasted too long. Okay. Here's my thing with Masterpiece. Okay. People say, like, <coughs> limit Carnimize, or like, ban Amano Iwata, or like, hit Dragonic Diagram, all this stuff. If you just hit Masterpiece, no one else has to get hurt. It's like a threat. But that deck is nothing without Masterpiece. Is it not? not I mean, like, here's how, here's how I feel. Okay. If Masterpiece goes, then all the decks that use Dragonic Diagram, like, you know, Six Samurai and Dinosaurs and, you know, like, Metal Foes variants, all those, they still get to use it. They're good, they are not hurt. And Ignis and all that stuff can still exist. Dynamite could even come back. You just don't have to deal with an impossible boss monster. He is pretty rough. And they can still use like Ignis and Majesty Maiden and the True Drake, they can do all their stuff. Masterpiece is a one card way of getting rid of a deck that is preventing other decks from being able to do things. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what he does. Well, it's more he says, you can't get rid of me no matter how hard you try. Well, I disrupt you and I'm 3250 and like, oh my gosh. quick effect pop. It's a problem. I know that you can argue, but I think it's a problem. Anyway, <laughs> number two. 
My phone turned off again. Heavy Metal Foes, Electromite. I should have known that. I don't know why. Yeah, he's, uh, I think there's one, like, somewhere right over there. It's... <laughs> enables Pendulum here. Dragons... Uh, pendulum Dragons. Pendulums to play at all in a format we thought they couldn't even play. How do you feel about this card's place on the ban list, potentially? I am so scared because this card, it, it's one of those cards that feels like something has to happen to them. But if they hit, if they hit this card, it backs all pendulums. Into yeah, like all the pendulum decks suffer. The oh. Dino Mists and the Pals. But then the how do you, how do you leave this unchecked when, when Needle Fiber is on the horizon? We don't know when that, we don't know when it's coming, but... Like, it's a tough it's call. Coming. I think that Electromite's fine. I mean, I think that what it gives to Pendulums is great. I just kind of wish that more archetypes actually got access to similarly powered cards. Can we deal with more cards like this? Like, maybe not quite as good, but imagine if, you know, your favorite archetype, whatever it may be, got its own Electromite. You know, your heroes Black or your Blackwings or your, like, Six Sams or whatever got, like, an Electromite. I think that would be really cool. I think it's way better than us getting these mediocre Flame Administrator and like all that under. And there are taker. some really bad like on theme. Those like the themed uh, Link monsters, like uh, the Hero Link monster is nothing special. Man. Yeah, like a Ritual Beast. Like one. I think Electromite's very strong, but I don't think it should get hit. What I do think should get hit is our number one. Number card, one. Astrograph Sorcerer. Good old Graph. Where do we start with this card? I. He searches himself. He searches him, he's so, no he one's can return. summon off of his effect to summon a time gazer. No one's return clause. None. Whatsoever. He is a level seven monster. With a scale of one uh, or eight. He's the one. He's, he's the, the one. He's the one. Not to mention, he can search things that have been destroyed and banished, destroyed and in the grave, destroyed and in the extra deck. Actually, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. That's, it, that's, that's what, what, what is... Not to mention he's a dark. And he's 2,500. 2,500. Like, could they give this many powerful, non-limited effects on a monster that's already just big and strong and mm. just does all this thing? Like, the reason why I think Astrograph should go over Electromite is because Astrograph's been around longer. It technically has. And Pendulum Dex themselves won't be hurting just because it's gone. If Electromite goes, Pendulum Dex hurt. If Astrograph goes, Maybe Electromite wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have Astrograph. It's like, maybe Astrograph wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have Electromite. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, That's our yeah, team. those are our 10 cards, the 10 most impactful cards of the format. There are other arguments for different cards as well. And that's where you guys come in, of course. And the comment section. Yeah, let us know before, hurry, before the ban list drops. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what are the most impactful cards for the format in your opinion? Yeah, let us know, throw it in the comments. Thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the bell, join the squad. Follow us on social media and we will see you guys in the next one. Pass turn.